Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today we're playing Rogue Legacy. This is a new indie game that just came out. By, it's by a company called Cellar Door Games, and it's something I've been really excited to play since I read a review about it a couple months ago on the Rock Paper Shotgun blog. It's sort of a Metroidvania kind of run and run and hit things and jump and you know what I mean by that. Um, I'm gonna keep punching this dummy for a second. So they describe the game as what they're calling kind of cutely a rogue light. I don't know if you're familiar with roguelikes as a genre. In the 80s, there is a game called Rogue, and it introduced the concept of randomly generated worlds and permadeath. So you started a new game, you played until you died, everything in the world was random, and then once you died, you had to start over. Okay, this is a teleporter. I played, I've, I'm starting this totally blind, I played only the tutorial just to learn the, okay, to learn the controls, that's all. So I'm starting this totally, totally blind. I'm also using uh, an Xbox 360 controller because it seemed to be better for this game. Treason, an assassin, has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hamson. So, Hamson is a weird name for a castle. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Okay, that sounds dramatic. So, since Rogue came out in the 80s, there's been a whole, it created a whole genre of games, essentially, called, known as Rogue Likes, which are appropriately games like Rogue, that feature the permanent death thing, and, um, oh jeez, alright, I'm getting hurt a whole lot already while I'm talking that have the permanent death and the randomly generated levels. And this game is sort of like that. The levels are... I think I remember I read each um, section of the level is hand like hand created, but they're randomly joined together, so the layout of the castle is random. But the gimmick of this game... Not gimmick, but the fun little... Uh, the fun little extra thing is that... Every time you die, which is right now, holy crap. <laughs> well, that was fast. So every time you die, which apparently is supposed to happen very quickly at the beginning, I'm not terrible. You get to, as you can see, choose your heir. Oh, what is X? What is that? Sir Lee, level zero, 100% base stats, no equipment, no anything. So what you do is when you die, you get to choose your heir. And these are, I originally, my original hero was, I don't remember his name, Sir Lee. So this is your father, Johannes the Legendary Knight, and then I have a Sir Lee the, fa the Feeble Knight just now. And now I can choose to play as Sir Kotaki the Knight, who is, and then they have randomly generated character traits. So Sir Kotaki, he's a knight pretty good at everything. He has EDS, which means he's very flexible, and hypergonadism. <laughs> this is permaroided attacks knock enemies back further, and he also has a spell. Summon a blade. Lady Stephanie is gay. <laughs> she likes the ladies. And Alzheimer's, so she can't remember where she is. The different traits have an effect on the gameplay a little bit. I have a feeling Alzheimer's is going to do something to the map and I'm not going to be able to see where I was. And then Lady Jenny is, oh, also, okay, Lady Stephanie's a knight, Lady Jenny's a knave, which is low stats, but I guess high attack power. You can see she's a little buffer. Oh, uh, sorry. 
Lady Jenny's a little buffer. Stereo blind, she can't see in 3D, and muscle weakness. She has weak limbs and enemies won't get knocked back, so she stinks. The Alzheimer's thing seems annoying. I really am interested to see what the gay trait has is going to do to the game, but I also want to try to win. But you know what? This is fun, right? We're, we're playing for fun. Oh, she has a bow in her hair. I don't know if that's because she's a lady knight or because she's gay. We're gonna play as, for now, we're gonna play as the good, the best seeming one, Sir Kotaki. All right. Okay, so as you play, you also, if you noticed I was attacking everything, you get gold for beating up stuff, the like, chest, not chests, but like I was hitting the candelabras and everything. You can unlock things with gold between, um, between successors. I don't have enough gold to do anything, but now, alright, so now I'm playing as Sir Kotaki, who has a spell that has something to do with a big sword. And then, um, what's this? One must pay the toll. Oh, you have to give all, okay, I read that. You have to give up all your money after the, um, you don't save your money between, between, uh, heroes. You lose all of it. Um, so what you, basically, you see, I'm getting gold as I break the things. Is this journal the same? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So you get gold for breaking stuff. Oh, what is... Oh, okay, I guess the enemies are different. Nah! Ah! Oh, holy crap. Oh, this is... Okay, so this is a different room, I think. I don't remember... I thought that... I remember this room being different. Oh, item. Magic recovered. Jeez, my health is already down to 52 out of 100. That's really sad. So these games are designed intentionally to be really, really, really hard at the beginning. Can I? No, okay. And I know, you know, it looks kind of silly. I'm supposed to die a lot right when we start. I'm not supposed to do really well. Oh, well, I got a lot of gold. That'll be great for upgrading. Well, what does this do? That was... That, okay, on the map there's the chest. I got 190 gold. That'll definitely be enough to buy an upgrade the next time around. Blueprint found blood sword. I'm thinking that maybe blueprints will let you make weapons or buy weapons in between. Okay, well, this looks like a good spot to die. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I jumped and killed myself on the spikes. Sir Kotaki's parting words are, each class has pros and cons. Be sh make sure to change your playstyle accordingly. That, <laughs> that's not very deep. Useful? Useful. Not very deep. Let's check out his stats. They are the same. Okay, so they're the same stats. Choose my heir. Okay. Sir Lee, barbarian. Hit points seem nice in a game where you're gonna get hit a lot. In a hypochondriac, you tend to exaggerate, and that could be fun. And scythes flying out from all around you. Interesting. This is a mage with a spell. Each kill gives you mana. Okay. Sir, oh, that was Sir Eric. Sir Hornsby the Barbarian is a walking tank. Was the other guy a barbarian too? Yeah. Except, instead of being a hypochondriac, he has dementia and is nostalgic. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go with Sir Hornsby, because I really want to see what dementia and nostalgia do. And I have enough money for the smithy! To fix his fat loot. That's awesome. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritably virtuous violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. Okay. 
So I got, I know I got a blueprint for the, uh, for a sword. For a blood sword, something like that. Um, health up, improve your cardio. Health, oh, I definitely need health. It's, I think health over mana at this point. Upgrade knight turns your knights into paladins. I'm not playing as a knight right now, I'm playing as a barbarian, so... I think, do they, when they say knight, I think they mean the class knight, not the... Not, um... The, like, n hero in general. Um, and I lose all my money. Ah, I didn't, didn't mean to click that. Ah, okay, well... That's okay. I'll get more money. I'll get more money. I wanted to upgrade the mana instead, but that's fine. Oh, so this is where the smithy is. I was wondering, because I thought he'd be in that other screen. Hello, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. <laughs> Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. At a price, of course. All right. This is where we buy sh stuff to use to kill monsters. Yeah. Okay. He's got some things available already. I probably can't afford any of them. Squire sword, plus damage, plus weight. Interesting. There's weight. Blood sword is plus damage also, plus more damage, but it takes away your health. Helmet. Okay, there's armor. I can't afford any of this, so... But it's good to know it's there. Good to know it's there. And let me jump my way to... Can I fall through there? No, I can't. Okay. Give up all my money. Now, this guy is nostalgic. So, is that why there's a sepia filter? Yep. <laughs> That's really great. So there's a sepia filter on everything because my hero, what's his name? Sir Hornsby. That's that's cute. That's a nice touch. Really nice UI touch there. When you pause it, his um stats pop up right on him. Okay, so we're. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. There's a spinny. Big spinny sword, or a big spinny chain chomp. Uh, and I can't hurt this guy? I can't hurt this guy. Uh, I want this gold. Oh my god. I am not, I am having a hard time. I wonder, so his other trait was insanity, and I really, or what was it? I, I just I love their their titles. Dementia, you see things that aren't there. That's discouraging. What's in here? Oh, dangerous things. Okay, and that's Whoa! Oh, whoa, that was okay. Well I already am almost dead, so that's not good. I got a lot of golds for the next playthrough. That is good. Gonna do anything to this fireplace? Okay. Back to this room. Maybe let's go down? Oh, oh. No, no. No. Sir Hornsby has been slain by a frost. His parting words are the same. Oh, this is a collection that is of your enemy. I just pointed at the screen like you can see it. The thing on the left is a collection of the enemies that you slayed in that playthrough. Okay. Choose your heir. Sir Taco. <laughs> Sir, Sir Taco. Knave. He has, he has Tourette's. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sir Teddy Mage. Baldness. And Stereo Blind. And then Sir Lee. EDS. And Dextrocardia. His mana and hit points are swapped. I don't really want that. That sounds annoying. Tourette's sounds hilarious, but Knave, low stats, but high power might be, I don't know. And then Baldness and Stereo Blind. 
I'm gonna go with the Nave because I really want to see what the Tourette's does. I really, I can't, I can't help myself. Oh wow, his hit points are really bad. Well, we're gonna find out pretty quickly because, or we better find out pretty fast because I'm not gonna last very long. I'm gonna upgrade the hit points, I think. All right, then let's go. <laughs> I don't want, I can't afford any equipment. All right, so you have to consciously save up if you want to buy equipment instead of an upgrade, which is fine, but now I know. Okay. You can't hurt those things. You, um, oh, whoa, hi, hey, enemy. This painting is evil, I think. Oh, jeez. I'm, like, already dying. Okay, got him. I guess I'll, while I'm down here, I'll go this way. What is his... I forget what his special does. What? Oh, right. It lets... <laughs> that would have been... Oh, jeez. <laughs> His parting words, I guess, instead of uh, instead of wise words of wisdom, we get uh, a little swearing. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. What's next? What's next? Sir Lancelot the Paladin. Oh, I upgraded the knights to paladin, so that'll be interesting. ADHD. That could be useful. And there's a giant axe. That also could be useful. Barbarian. OCD. Break stuff to restore mana. That's really funny. Also ADHD. Barbarian dyslexia. <laughs> Sir Useless. Sir Kotaki the Second. Interesting. And Sir Lancelot. I'm gonna go with Lancelot. I didn't really get I didn't get any money at all, basically. <laughs> it was really bad. I'm kinda disappointed that the ADHD didn't affect anything other than his parting words, but I guess what is there? They're not really talking. Maybe the menus would have been swear in swearing or something. I didn't think of that. This is ah. Anytime there's spikes on the ceiling, I expect them to fall on my head. Okay. Holy crap, this, you know what, I have to say, this game is really, oh god, this is really hard. It's, it's, it's extremely fun, but it's really hard. I'm doing a pathetically, oh, that looks interesting. I'm doing a pathetically bad job. Uh, okay. Sir Seller the Knave. Savant, he's talented with a few issues, and Endomorph, he's so heavy that enemies can't knock him back. Sir Useless? <laughs> Vertigo? I think... <laughs> I think I read that Vertigo turns the whole level upside down. And then OCD. Barbarian? No traits! Why would I pick Lady Blair if she has no traits? That's sad. Uh, Savant? Okay, well this... Okay. This guy sounds more useful. This guy sounds more hilarious. Sir Seller or Sir Useless? Ah. <sighs> I think I should try to progress a little bit in the game before I start screwing around, so Sir Seller. Sir Seller it is. He's a savant. So... I don't know what that's gonna do. That may also have to do with his parting words. Maybe something like that. He's a knave, so he's got low hit points. Let's go up. Critical? That's oh. I also oh my god, that was that was like the slowest. Jeez! I gotta pick up my gold, stop shooting me! Oh, 
What's this? Journal entry number two. This is new. Although I am the eldest child, I'm not my father's favorite. I've always known he planned to leave me with nothing, but if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. Do other dukes shall bow as we pass, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. <laughs> And those are the things I'm trying to do. Whose journals are these? Exactly. Prince. The prince. Oh, I don't want to read that again. Okay, well, I guess it's good that I found something. These are different colored enemies. Looks like they're icy. What's my spell do? Oh. Oh, that. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Can I not go through there? I can't get in there, okay. I got some gold, that's good. Oh, this room was scary. Oh, jeez, I just, here, let me just jump and just like, hug the enemy until he kills me. That's basically, that's what that strategy was. If you fail a fairy test room, the architect can give you a second chance. Fairy chest room. I don't know what a fairy chest is. We'll find out. Choose my heir! <laughs> well, I know that part of the challenge is learning the enemies. Um, so, learning the patterns of the enemies. I should probably slow down and pay more attention to that. I think I'm going to do that this, this time around. Sir Eric Knave Ectomorph. Lady Antoinette, Knave Dextrocardia Endomorph, Knave Nearsighted Colorblind. Well, everyone's knaves and everyone's got tough things. I'm gonna go with Nearsighted and Colorblind, just, just, just because. Mana up, hit points up. And maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna try to buy oh boy. Oh boy. Try to buy something, like a helmet. Just to increase my Yeah, I'm gonna buy this helmet just because I'm sick of I'll, the extra health will be useful. So that's good. This is gonna be interesting. Look at the blur on the sides of the screen. That's really funny. Okay. Building. So, I don't know if I said this before. Um, the concept is that there's an, the architect that I mentioned in the diary, or in the, the last words. Um, the castle, the rooms themselves are like hand designed by the designers of the game, but the layout of the castle shuffles every time. So, you can like recognize rooms like the, you, you'll come to the same room more than once but it'll be in a different spot that's funny I thought that was one of the bad paintings um ah oh um so oh hit points chicken leg So like every once in a while you'll get to a room that'll I actually think I've been in this room before. But this room that was above it was different now. Oh shucks. Sprint runes let you dash. I guess I haven't found those yet. Let's try again. Sir called Paladin, Tourette's, nearsighted, mage, peripheral peripheral arterial disease, no foot pulse? I don't know what that's gonna do. Farsighted. Everything close up is blurry. That's gonna make things hard. Time stop freezing enemies. That could be useful. I want to try the paladin though because he has a shield, and and I apparently need a shield really badly. Uh, can I upgrade anything? 
sure. I might as well, because I don't want to... Because you lose your money anyway. The nearsighted thing is really or is really funny. It's actually kind of a cool effect. Gotta, it's not bothering me. It's a funny gimmick, but it's also not bothering me at all. Okay. Gotta, gotta destroy everything. Gotta get that money. I can't tell which of the paintings are evil paintings and which aren't, so I'm just gonna destroy all of them. Oh. Well, there's a chest. Oh god, I couldn't have done that any worse. Alright. Okay. Oh. I'm supposed to be good at video games. Holy crap, that was pathetic. I am embarrassed. Oh, I'll just leave this room. Fairy chest. Oh, okay, so I, I heard about this. They're like challenges, basically, the fairy chests. That... Oh, okay. Um, there's like... Oh. Can I leave and try it again? No. The fairy chests are like an objective. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, and there's the Tourette's. The fairy chests are basically, you only get the chest if you do a particular um, th objective, like that one was take no damage. Okay. Lady Stephanie, Nave, hypochondriac, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> okay. Okay. I saw that in the trailer. I know that that makes you fart. Barbarian endomorph tunnel vision. No peripheral vision. That's interesting. Paladin hypergonadism, Alzheimer's. Tunnel vision. I want to see what tunnel vision is. Oh, and I can unlock stuff. Unlock the architect and gain powers to lock down the castle. Enchantress, magical runes and powers. Lock down the castle. I don't know what that means. It sounds useful. Maybe that's like chain, stop it from changing? I don't know, I'm gonna buy it. We'll see what that does. That'll probably, yeah, more another upgrade path. Lock down a castle and prevent it from changing. Oh, that's cool, okay. Upgrade barbarian. <laughs> Become a barbarian king, the king of freemen. That makes no sense. <laughs> That's good. And attack up a proper gym. So basically, I'm upgrading. I'm like building a castle. That's the idea of the upgrade like tree thing. So now I can build a gym in my castle. Okay. And here's the architect. Greetings, boy. I'm not going to do that voice. Maybe I will. Want to know a cool fact? I'm crazy. This lever here? I can't, I don't know what, I don't even know what I was doing. That was just kind of like a goblin that needed water. This lever here, with a simple pull, I can prevent the castle from changing. This way you can, this way you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed? You should be. How did I build this fantastic contraption? With science, of course, and magic, mostly magic. But my skills aren't free. If I lock this castle, I'll take 70% of all the gold you earn. Do you want to lock the castle and get only 70% gold? No. I haven't partic gotten particularly excited about any of the layouts. It's a waste of money, but it's okay. All right. Oh, I got no gold from there. I got a lot of hit points. Oh, holy crap! Not for long! 
This this eye thing is terrifying. Let's get the heck out of this room. Just walked right into that enemy. That's really sad. Twice. Jesus. I gotta be way more careful. I, I really like just blitzing through games, and obviously that's not gonna war. Oh, jeez. Why am I even- why am I bothering to kill these things, exactly? There's not even anything in this room. Oh wait, there's a secret. Maybe... No, that's- that didn't work. Well, that was really sad. But, uh, okay. That was a good effort. <laughs> I think with that, I'm going to wrap up this first video. Uh, this game is a lot of fun. That was pretty awesome. Hopefully, next time I can get through more than like three rooms upgrade some more stuff i don't know we'll see so uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this game i i should especially because this is an indie and i really want to try to promote them because this is an awesome game and they're doing an awesome job i'll put the a link in the video description to their website where you can buy the game but it's called rogue legacy and they're called cellar door games so go support indie developers this game is super fun and uh, I will continue playing it soon, so I'll see you in the next video.